I am going to help you clear up your acne without a prescription. Does this sound intriguing to you? Hit subscribe to join me on our journey to better skin without spending a fortune. Right now, let's go through my three super important rules that will stop new acne in its tracks and clear that stubborn acne that is on your face now. I made this video for you because you deserve clear skin. Acne is not a trivial disease. It is not a cosmetic condition. Acne has a real life burden on our physical health and our mental health. It is a medical diagnosis with a complex set of causes. Acne deserves real attention. Acne deserves more than just a five minute doctor visit. I have taken care of so many patients that will change up these three steps alone and drastically improve their acne. Are you going to be one of those people? I want you to make these changes, then circle back here and let us know. Okay, so this is my scientific approach. As a board certified dermatologist, I know what the evidence says causes acne. So these three steps are going to address three of these causes. The three causes that are often overlooked and underestimated for acne. These three things your dermatologist may not mention to you during your office visit. Because let's be real, these visits are often way too short to address all the things that are necessary to treat your acne from all the angles. Again, just one of the many reasons I am here now on YouTube talking to you, because you need to hear this, and I just don't know if you will hear it otherwise. So just tap that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming. My three steps. Step number one, stop the external causes of acne. I'm going to tell you why this is important and how you will achieve this. So acne has both internal and external causes. An internal cause, for example, would be our hormones inside our body that can trigger acne. But did you know that we ourselves are often responsible for doing things to our skin that cause or worsen acne flares? Have you ever heard of Acne Mechanica or Acne Cosmetica? These are all types of acne that result from materials or objects touching our face or certain cosmetics or products touching the face. So if you are serious about getting rid of your acne without having to resort to prescriptions, let's see if you can identify the external triggers for your acne, eliminate them, and then see how your skin responds. It might be all you need. Wouldn't that be something? Here are the common external causes of acne that you need to stop right now. I'm going to go fast and fly through these. If you want to know more detail about each step, comment below so we can keep the conversation going. One, your hands, they are full of dirt, oil, and bacteria. When you touch your face or pick the skin, you will clog your pores. When you clog the pore, you are trapping bacteria like C. acnes and allowing them to grow like crazy, which means inflammation and acne breakouts. So just stop touching your face. Wash your hands often, especially before doing your skincare routine. Two, your pillowcase. It's gross. I'm sorry to tell you that, but you don't wash it enough. It has buildup of sweat, dirt, oil, makeup, skincare products, hair, and all kinds of other microscopic things that are being transferred back onto your skin and clogging your pores. If you are not changing your pillowcase every single night, it's likely just not clean enough. So if you have stubborn acne, level up your pillowcase game. Do this by swapping out your pillowcase for a silk pillowcase, which will absorb less product from your skin and be more gentle on your skin barrier, and then wash it often. Or go to Amazon and get a pack of 12 super soft cotton pillowcases and just have a pile by your bed, swap a new one on your pillow each night. You'll have enough so that you don't have to do laundry that often. This is also a great hack if you use benzoyl peroxide on your face at night, which notoriously is known to bleach towels and sheets. I have the exact pack of pillowcases I recommend linked below. And a link to a great silk pillowcase if you wanna be bougie like that. Three, your towels. 
If you have acne, you need to stop right now and reevaluate your towel situation. Towels touch your face daily after the shower and during your skincare routine. These towels are a major source of bacteria and other grime that you are introducing onto the skin. Think about it. Towels that you reuse every day that sit in a humid bathroom, likely in the dark and never fully dry between uses. An absolute breeding ground for unhealthy bacteria. Now for some people, this just might not result in a noticeable problem on the skin. But if you have acne, let's assume that regular hand towels are contributing until fully proven otherwise. And not only can this be contributing to the unwanted bacteria buildup on the skin, but many towels are extraordinarily rough in texture and can cause irritation, inflammation, and even micro tears in the skin, which allow portals of entry for bacteria, all leading to inflammation and acne flares that are so stubborn and persistent. So how do we fix this? The answer is not as simple as just washing your towel more often. Studies show that even a freshly laundered towel still has bacteria buildup on it in the threads of the fibers that simply do not come out effectively in the wash. And many washing machines have bacteria and mold buildup in them and are far from optimal at thoroughly sanitizing an item. So I recommend using specific skincare towels like these. If you suffer from active acne or skin barrier dysfunction, I recommend a single use towel that is clean, gets the job done and is one time use only. Now I know that single use products do have their drawbacks and are often not the most desirable for the planet, but the reality is that we have a skin problem and this is a solution for that problem. Maybe you won't need these forever, but while you do suffer from acne, try these. They are 100% biodegradable, compostable, ethically sourced. It's a clean, cruelty-free, and vegan brand. A tree is planted for every order placed. These are affordable in the world of skincare. This is considered a low-cost item. I use these towels by Clean Skin Club. I remove my makeup with this, so this has replaced cotton swabs for me. I use it to pat my skin dry, then clean off my countertop surface and I'm done with my skincare routine. It's clean and gentle on my skin every single time. So with this item here, you know that you are not worsening your acne at all. Also a great solution if you are living in a college dorm or some similar type of situation where you can't wash your laundry that often and have a hard time keeping your towels fresh and dry, use these skincare towels to fix this problem. I have these skincare towels that I use and love linked below with the discount code for you if you are interested in trying them out. Four, makeup and hair care products. These are often responsible for persistent acne on the cheeks and forehead line. Certain makeups with red dye in them are comedogenic and are well-known causes of acne. So look into the makeup that you are using, specifically your blush products. Replace those with safe, non-comedogenic options. Hair care shampoos and conditioners often have ingredients in them that cause acne around the forehead and hairline. My hack for this is to wash your face after you shower to make sure you remove all of that from your skin. You do not want that sitting on your skin and you certainly don't want it trapped under your skincare products. Five, makeup brushes, major cause of bacteria, fungus, dirt, and oil being packed onto our face daily. I saw one study that said like almost 25% of people never wash their makeup brushes and a majority beyond that only wash them once a month or less. So how do we fix this? wash your brushes ideally after each use. It sounds like a lot of work, but if you have acne and you want it gone, do not overlook these easy little steps that you can take. You can use some tear-free baby shampoo to cleanse them. And my hack for you to get out that stubborn makeup, I actually have a bottle of micellar water, which I use to clean my makeup brushes and it works wonders. I made a handout that I linked below in the description that has listed out the ingredients in makeup that cause breakouts and those in shampoos and other cosmetics. So if you want more info on that, grab my cheat sheet below. Six, hobbies. Believe it or not, certain hobbies or occupations can be the cause of your acne breakouts. I have seen chin strap acne from football players or face acne from the pad of a violin and very commonly nowadays, lower face acne from wearing masks at work and in public. This is a very common complaint of healthcare workers especially, 
all of these items on the face can cause bacteria buildup, so take the extra steps necessary to keep these objects as clean as possible and let the skin breathe. So that was step one, external factors. Get it together. Do not overlook the importance of these things that we are doing to our own skin. Step number two, your diet. So I did a poll recently on my Instagram account at The Budget Dermatologist, where I asked you guys if your dermatologist ever talked to you about diet related to skin concerns. And shockingly, 92% of you said no. So in case you haven't had the discussion with your dermatologist about diet and acne, let me tell you something right now. What you eat can tell a story on your skin and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. It's time we talk more about this and put more research into diet related to skin issues. Okay, I'll step down off my soapbox now so we can finish this YouTube video. Over the years, I have had so many patients tell me specific types of foods that will flare their acne. Whether there is an evidence-based study or not for that food, if you notice a food flares your acne, I believe you. Stop eating that food. I support that. Obviously done so within a healthy and complete diet overall. There is now good evidence that shows that high glycemic index foods are closely associated with acne. And additionally, some studies show a link between dairy and acne, but it's not all dairy. It seems to be more skim milk rather than whole milk. And what role do vegetable and seed oils play in our acne? probably a significant role. We need more focus on diet related to skin issues and more quality research here. So for now, shift your diet away from processed food and foods with a high glycemic index and see how your acne responds. Give this a good eight to 12 weeks at least to start seeing these changes on your skin. Step three, fix your skin barrier. This is crucial. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever been to the dermatologist for acne and gotten one or maybe two topical acne prescriptions and maybe even an oral pill as well, but it didn't clear your acne at all? Has this happened to you? Like it just caused irritation or redness and no results? There are many reasons why this may be the case, one of them is an unhealthy skin barrier. Remember, the skin barrier is the outer surface of your skin that keeps bad things like irritants and environmental toxins out while keeping natural oils and moisture in. You have to show it some love by treating it with gentle skincare practices and using products to reinforce it. If not, you will likely have a damaged skin barrier with leaky channels leading to irritation and sensitivity which then leads to acne flares. And if the barrier is not healthy and strong, when you put these irritating and drying acne medications on the skin, it can burn and sting and cause excessive dryness or intolerability. This makes you stop using the medications. And if you don't use them, they don't work. Crazy, right? So a strong barrier can withstand acne medications so that you can use them consistently and get their benefit. A weak skin barrier will get too many side effects of these medications, so you won't be able to stick with the treatment and therefore you won't get results. My guide linked below will give you all the tips for perfecting your skin barrier, so don't forget to check that out. Those are the three steps. Step one, stop the external causes of acne. Step two, clean up your diet. And step three, fix your skin barrier. If you can check each of these three steps off your list, here is what you can expect to happen. You will land in one of three groups. One group of you will totally clear your skin. Hopefully this will be most of you. I mean, step two, dietary changes alone can make huge improvements. So I hope you find yourself here. The second group of people who optimize these three steps will improve their acne some, but not clear totally. So then this group will need to use over-the-counter gentle acne products correctly, and that will then totally or near totally clear their skin. And the third group of you will do these three steps and use the right over-the-counter stuff, but not achieve the results they want. And that is where the dermatologist can take you to the finish line because you probably need more in-depth evaluation and treatment options. If you are wondering about an over-the-counter acne skincare routine, I have some great skincare routine videos on this for you to check out. I will also link these videos in the description.
I hope this video gave you some clarity about the things that you can readily change in your life right now to improve your acne. My goal is to help you optimize the things that you can do on your own at home without the one-on-one -on -one help of a dermatologist because the reality is that not everyone has access to the proper professional in a timely manner. This unfortunately leaves many people on their own to sort through information on the internet to help themselves. So I'm glad you stopped by this video here today. Once you have taken yourself as far as you can on your own, you can pick up with professional help from a board certified dermatologist and possibly get prescription treatments or office procedures if you need to. So what do you wanna hear from me next? Drop your requests in the comments section and come follow me on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist for more good stuff. See you soon.